What's up guys, welcome to Hakaba, Japan. We are here on a five day ski trip where we're gonna be exploring some of the best mountains, head into the back country, and share some awesome tips and secrets if you're coming to Hakaba, Japan. Hey guys, what's going on? We are here in Hakaba, Japan also known as the Japanese Alps. We are here for a five day ski trip. We're gonna be hitting a number of the different resorts, doing a day in the backcountry, and even going to check out the legendary Japanese snow monkeys while we're here. We spent three awesome days in Tokyo, uh, and then we made our way up to Hakaba, where we're staying actually at the Hano no Seito Hotel, which is one of many small little boutique hotels. Uh, we're walking distance to one of the major resorts. There's also some good restaurants and food within walking distance. They even have a foot onsen in the middle of town, which is a great way to soak your feet after a long day on the slopes. The snow has been pumping, so I'm super stoked to get on the slopes and see what this epic ski destination has to offer. Woo. We are skiing half a one in Hakuba today and it is snowing buckets. Hakuba hasn't got a lot of snow in the last few weeks, so we're super psyched because in the forecast there's a lot of it. So we're in half a one and it's kind of the biggest resort in the Hakuba Valley. A lot of different lifts, a lot of different train options. There's over 10 different mountains that you can choose from as far as where you want to ski. And there's different lift pass options where you can get a pass that just covers any mountain you want to go. You can't ski different mountains in the same day. You have to shuttle between them. So we're going to start with a half a one and then move over to some of the other ones depending on how the snow looks. And we're also going to get into the backcountry to do some backcountry skiing. How's that? <laughs> Once we got to the top of Hapo One, it was pretty devastating because I looked down at my binding, hadn't checked out my board yet since we got here, and I just noticed the whole thing was like crunched and squished, the right binding. So luckily I've been able to use it, but I'm gonna get in touch with Air Canada and see if they have any kind of compensation plan because it must have got crushed in transit at some point. I don't even know how that can happen to a binding. So I'll update in the video description below on what they say and if I get this thing replaced or some kind of compensation for it. But tomorrow we hit the backcountry. What an epic day of powder up here. Such a good start to our Hakuba ski trip. And uh, stoked to get the backcountry and see how the snow is back there. It is day two in Hakuba, Japan. They had 60 centimeters of snow last night, so it is gonna be an epic day of powder. Today we're hitting the backcountry and uh, going up Sugoi K. Should be a good day, stoked to get out there. So we signed up for a guided trip with Evergreen Guides and they're basically gonna keep us safe in the backcountry. There's really high avalanche danger, so we're gonna stick to the trees, but that's kind of what you want to do in Japan. There's some epic tree skiing, so should be pretty good. All right, we are underway on the tour. It is very cold up here. It's about between minus 10 and minus 15 right now, and I think it's gonna get colder throughout the day. One of my poles, which I'm trying to warm up in my jacket, is frozen shut, so I can't actually use it. So I'm trying to warm her up, and then hopefully it'll open up so I can actually use it to go up. Good start to the day. So the thing about backcountry skiing in Japan is we were told that whew, there's a lot less avalanche awareness here and the ratings are even a little more lenient than we have back in North America. So you always wanna err on the side of caution, especially if you're not in a guided trip. Even today with the avalanche risk pretty high and all the new snow, we're staying in the trees in the more mellow slopes. Less steep powder lines, but still get some pretty good turns regardless. Okay, now for the fun part. That is so good. Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's, That's deep. Came here for. That is deep. 
Oh! As per usual, touring just definitely a tiring workout, but so great to get some exercise in the backcountry. And despite the fact it's like minus 20 now, amazing how hot you get when you're going up. That's why we do this. Runs like that. The snow was crazy. Just splash in your face. Oh man, that was just unbelievable. That's it for the backcountry day, guys. Now we head to the resort tomorrow. And again, I'll put all the links that you need to know in the video description below. We're not done yet. Tomorrow we hit the resort. All right, it is day three for us skiing in Hakuba, Japan. And today we are on Cortina Mountain. We basically took a free, the free shuttle, which stops a couple times along the way. It does get super busy, so you wanna get there with uh, a little bit early so you can get it, make sure you get a seat. Cortina is really known for the mountain that you're supposed to come to if there's some great powder and also apparently some great music. One of the amazing things for us coming here, we got so lucky, we got the amazing snow, and now we have a beautiful bluebird day. So regardless of the snow conditions, there's nothing quite like skiing a bluebird. And it does look like in the trees, we might be able to find a few powdery stashes. So I'm sure we'll go snow hunting and find something good. Wow, what a beautiful day. It doesn't get more scenic than this. Incredible. It's almost like spring skiing. Like we have to shed a layer, get rid of the toque. We're gonna look for some pow stashes, hit the groomers pretty hard, really burn out our legs. It's day three on the snowboard and I'm definitely feeling it. So we'll see what the forecast says and then we'll decide where we wanna go. Today we are taking the day off skiing and actually heading to see the Japanese snow monkeys. It was about a two and a half hour bus ride from Hakuba the area we are in is about half an hour away from Nagano, and then you walk 20 to 30 minutes along this gorgeous path, and then you get to these snow monkeys who are bathing in the onsens, which are Japanese hot springs. Really excited to see them, experience them, and uh, have a rest day from skiing. Oh, we found the tourists. <laughs> This is definitely touristy, but it is so freaking cool. These monkeys are not scaring you at all. They're just like running around your feet. These snow monkeys apparently live in the most northern region to any other primate other than humans in the world. Well, there it is, snow monkeys. What'd you think? So cool, very touristy, but honestly, you'll never see anything like that anywhere else in the world. It's unbelievable. Beautiful location as well. So that concludes our day off and uh, tomorrow's our last day skiing in the mountains. Let's go to it. Last day skiing Hakuba and we came out to an epic snowfall. They got like 30 centimeters overnight. It is crazy. So we're gonna have a pretty awesome last day. We decided to hit up Hapo One Resort, which is the resort we did on the first day. It's gonna be tons of snow up there and probably an awesome day. Guys, that wraps up our adventure in Hakuba, Japan. Thanks for coming along with us. If you liked this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I got a link to a whole bunch more information in the description below, so make sure to check that out, and have a great time if you're coming to ski in Japan. Peace.